July 2nd, Chaos and War Sweep Through Central Crater by Murrow. As I've made my way north through Nibu Terrace, I've seen many villagers and farmers on the roads, fleeing south with as much as they can carry. We're heading for Lion's Arch, one refugee told me. There's fighting in the north. Foreign mercenaries, excuse me, I mean adventurers, have been hunting Mantle and peacekeepers all across the countryside. Rumours of intense fighting and White Mantle army massing somewhere in the north are rampant among the displaced common folk. Many have also described strange legless constructs in the employ of the mantle. Witnesses describe them as inhuman six-eyed things that float in the air. Sightings of these floating creatures have been reported in North Kryta province, Nibu Terrace, the Watchtower Coast and elsewhere. Nobody I've met can tell me with any certainty what's happening, but from the very beginning it's the common Crichton who suffers most. Oh yeah, something else actually that I didn't mention. Yeah, um, somebody said in, a few people actually said in uh, a couple of the videos about the Ellie update. I've been going on about it with the dungeons um, and uh, saying, oh, let's bring lots of Ellie's. But somebody did actually mention um, that for the Let's Play, why the hell don't I use an Elementalist in my team that's maybe using Double Dragon or something, which is, which is really cool. In fact, before I started filming this video, believe it or not, I actually looked into doing just that. Um, but the problem is, Heroes, and I had, when, once I tried it, I remembered that I'd already been told this, but Heroes don't actually know how to use double, double cast skills, they just can't use them. So I had it on MOX, right, and that might seem a bit weird, but the attributes were fine, it was okay. Um, but he would, they only ever cast it on themselves, so it's like, in Double Dragon, case it literally loses half its damage like it just so I'd have to micro it so I was like do you know what screw it but I did notice at the same time oh hey look fire magic you've also got starburst there that's pretty cool why don't we see how good he is with starburst because it doesn't cost much energy it's quite good, got pretty damn good range on it and it does about 100 damage I was like all right we'll try that um, but also I, I just didn't feel like it was that important or, or that good and uh, besides our Ellie heroes aren't particularly amazing at the moment I, I will be looking into doing it particularly with winds of change though that's a bit harder the content now with the updates you know if I find that there's like a really nice Ellie team build out there somewhere or a decent place for an Ellie to be on my team when we get to the winds of change obviously uh, we'll have a lot more opportunity to be using those and uh, maybe I might even do winds of change in hard mode or something mix it up because I've still not really shown you guys that anyway right um What's going on here? You can actually see Zin and Blim here. If we speak to Bl Blim, ridiculous. Not enough time. Might just burn the whole place down, <laughs> which is brilliant. Uh, and these guys are actually referencing uh, what's about to happen. I think we're supposed to have spoken to Livia first. Hold on. Um, she Be says, careful. if you thought the Asura were only spiteful to other races, you haven't witnessed any disputes over Golomancy or power cores. Okay. Mustering response. Finally making their big move, are they? Blim isn't going to be happy about this. He's been screaming all morning following what sounded like either an explosion or a bag of Murgoy was being smacked against a lightning fence during their mating. Wait, so, okay, not only is this hilarious, but it actually confirms that lightning fences of some form exist in Guild Wars. What is it, like elemental magic around farms? That's hilarious. Zin is attempting to calm him right now. No matter what, it's going to take a little while to pack things up. Make your way without us to Beetletown and to warn the Elder. We won't be too far behind and can catch up with you there. Don't worry. I can keep us out of trouble at least that far without your help. She actually, we won't see her for the rest of the quest, she, she escorts them on her own. In fact, she actually beats us to our next destination, which is quite funny. Uh, but they will be off doing their thing. Actually, no, we might, they might be there again. Maybe, maybe ignore that. Anyway, they're saying, uh, Zin, Blim, change of plans. Oh no, not again. How are we supposed to work under these conditions? Not my problem. Now, listen up. The White Mantle army is on the move and they're headed straight to Lion's Arch. We need to take what we've got and get there first. The other thing is, obviously, they're in Demetra, right? Oh no, we are out of the path of Demetra. Ooh, so, well, yeah, I guess we are, yeah, we're there. Demetra's up here, so they'll just be going through here. But we need to cut across and get through. Beetle Town, of course, is right in the way. Um, and Blim, Blim replies by saying, but, 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 not finished, not ready. Connor installed, no golem. Zin says, what my flustered partner is trying to say is that the protection golem is not fully assembled, let alone functional. I'm afraid the party will have to go on without us this time. Not an option, says, says Livia. You've had plenty of time, Asura. Now deliver or pay the price. Uh, yes, right. I think we can repurpose the core to provide blanket protection for those in range, similar to infusion, but it will take a little time to set up and we'll only be able to use it once. But, 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 says Blim, do it. Make it quick. We have a date with our protection detail outside Beetleton, and I would hate to miss it. Don't forget what I said about their eventual thing being a little bit underwhelming. Um, yes, ArenaNet are kind of writing in that it's not going to be amazing already. Uh, you'll see it when you see it, though. Okay, so these guys are actually going to walk back in here to gather their stuff. No, 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 no. Did they walk past the sentry? No! 
Oh, why, why would he? Oh, I can't believe they did that. So we didn't get to see Zin's dialogue. Zin is just a bit upset as well. That might be in the description if I remember to put it there. Or if you guys comment and tell me to put it there. Uh, Zin, Zin's little bit of dialogue is, is very similar. It's just, oh, for God's sake, we haven't had enough time to make this. Oh, that's so annoying. That's quite cool how they get the ability to sort of teleport past. I was like, look at this. I never noticed this or pointed this out before. Look at how sort of mechanical and horrible that machine is that they're sucking the power out of the seer. It's crazy. But anyway, there we go. Okay, so that's this part done. None are permitted, says the golem. Uh, we'll be seeing those guys shortly. Uh, we are done here, though, and we get to map travel now to Beetle Town. To tell these guys to get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. What I think is actually quite interesting is that they... Well, I don't know, actually. I suppose it is only Beetle Town. I, I, I guess maybe I'm a little bit disappointed that Beetle Town is one of those outposts with really interesting lore about it. You know, look, 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 let's read this again. Historians speculate that in time now out of mind, these ruins, wa these ruined watchtowers guarded Kryta from some unknown northern threat. Now the crumbled towers stand like ancient stone soldiers, still awaiting the arrival of that mysterious enemy from across the great saltwater lake called the Giant Space. And that's so cool. Right, and you know, Warren Kreiter, they came back to Beetle Town, they were doing updates around here, but we never really we never really got anything about it. I suppose Demetra is a great northern threat. It might have been cool to have these so-called watchtowers be manned to fight off the army as it comes through. That would be quite cool. But anyway, here's Elder Hezron. A character just like many of these others who was in the game before Warring Crier even existed. He says, The White Mantle protected us from the Char, but even they seem powerless against the undead. That's original prophecies dialogue from a, a time in the storyline as well, where you don't even really know that the White Mantle are bad. But it kind of works here, I suppose. Uh, the undead horde. Yeah, I knew we didn't do this. The undead hordes. We, this was a quest that we tried to do in the Prophecies Let's Play, but we never managed to finish it. I tried it twice, failed it twice, and then we went off to the desert. I think I might try that again in like a bonus video sometime soon. And, uh, should I? No. Maybe I'll even try and solo it, actually. Would that be cool? Would you guys like that? That might be fun. A bit of a blast from the past. Anyway, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, this video is definitely going to have to get split. Mustering a response. Thank you for the warning, Peter. I'll advise my people of the approaching danger and recommend they evacuate for the safety to the safety of Shaymore. Okay, Shaymore, really, is that? Oh, yeah, I guess so, because that's actually that's off there on the uh, the west and uh, nowhere near Lion's Arch. Yeah, for some reason, I was assuming they were going to be evacuating to Lion's Arch, but it doesn't make any sense. Right, okay, so we've done that one. Uh, and now, literally, as I said, they designed it quite well, I think, because now, literally, well, actually, can you not just... We'll see where the quest marker appears. I think the idea is you're just supposed to walk. You're just supposed to walk, keep going kind of thing. Um, but maybe it is actually quicker. Because if, if this is the village I'm thinking of, it might be quicker to... No, no. Yeah, they're over here. Okay, never mind. Right, so here here are the guys. They're all here. Livia says, I don't know how we managed to get here before you. See, she beats us somehow. But clearly you have a talent for tardiness. Lucky for us, we found friends. Oh, hey, it's Langmar and Thackeray. Uh, obviously, leader of the Eben Vanguard as a whole. Okay, she was the one that sent Thackeray down here. Uh, and Thackeray, leader of the Eben Falcons. Aye, the captain and I have been tracking the mantle's movements since word of their plans arrived. We don't have much time, says Langmar. They, they struck camp this morning and shouldn't be too far behind us. Then let's go before the mantle are upon us. They're, wait, wait, where they say here, uh, they struck camp. I think I'm going to have to start running now. Uh, do we run? I think we run with them. Oh, God, I can't remember. I think we do, yeah, we definitely do run with them. Where well, they say they struck camp this morning, I think they're talking about the Shining Blade camp. So this is another weird thing. It's like, oh, wow, okay, so we were there like five minutes ago real time, but in game time, that map traveling, I suppose, or the idea of walking from, from, uh, from, well, mind you, it's quite a long way away, isn't it, actually? From there to here uh, is like a whole day's travel, or like now maybe it's afternoon. You can see behind us lots of white mantle chasing us. They are hot on our tails. There is a jade bow shooting at our friends. Cloaks there, they're all spawning, it's all kicking off. This is one of those things where if I'd kind of let's play, um, sort of explain the compass a bit better or sort of cared for the compass more. Like, the, the only thing that gets your heart pounding here is the compass. But you, you will be quite happy. This happens a few times in Guild Wars. Like, the Great Northern Wall, one of the first missions you ever do, actually, in fact, has a, a scene very similar to this where you're running away. You'll actually be happy to hear, without something like fallback, this can actually be quite hard. Without some kind of party wide movement boost, something like charge, yeah, you can be, you can be in trouble on this one. So it is quite good. There is a little bit of tension there, I suppose. But, you know, I, it's the kind of thing. And I, I, can't, I can't fake it, guys. I'm sorry. But I've played it before, so it's not like I'm not going to be running along screaming my head off as we go through. Anyway, here's the next village. Elder Sobel here. Uh, those guys aren't actually chasing us. They're just headed straight for Lion's Arch, I guess. They genuinely do not give a crap. Look at all this stuff. Oh, crap. Some of them are splintering off. 
Okay, we, we, we have to speak to Sable. She says, my, you gave me a fright. I thought you were another bandit. Our little village has seen more than its share, fair, fair share of brigands of late, but you look like a good sort. There's probably Murrow articles referencing stuff like this. Grave news, this is. Our little village has un undergone great hardships and prevailed, but facing an army is not something we can do. Perhaps a bit of a vacation to the hot springs is in order. Attention, everyone. The White Mantle's army... Ooh, shit, we've actually been surrounded. I've wasted too much time. The White Mantle's army is marching to Lion's Arch from the north. Be sure to leave behind... And they're sure to leave behind a wake of destruction. Our beloved village lies directly in the path, so I ask you all, please, Take only what you can carry. Only take only what you can quickly carry and evacuate immediately to the hot springs. Oh my god! Wow, and our healer's dead, so I'm surprised I'm still going. Shit, we're actually completely surrounded. I think I've screwed this up. I genuinely do think I've screwed this up because we're surrounded. <laughs> See, this is this isn't good, is it? Come on! Look, you can't design a quest where if you actually stop to read the dialogue, you're punished. You're flat out punished. Maybe we'll be okay here. Um, you have to have people survive. Uh, we need to meet meet these guys outside of Beetle Town now. No, see, this whole thing, it's a long walk. You're supposed to, like, do it all in one sitting, I think. As long as these guys don't die, I suppose we'll be okay. We'll see what happens. We're supposed to be in front of these, though, and if the White Mantle, like, army that's just passed through is just going to stop and patrol in key spots now, I'm not. I'm just going to rezone and I'll cut it, because there's no way I'm fighting the whole way through this. He's just supposed to be fleeing from the army the entire quest. It's a cool quest though, isn't it, actually? I, maybe I should have talked about this a little bit more. Yeah, look, they are. They're all just stopping and patrolling. This is BS. Unless I can get to the portal. Maybe I can get to the portal, because we're not too far away. I have just been spectral agony And that's something, actually, I've just noticed that you don't usually know. Spectral agony actually slows you down and stuff. It's quite interesting. Uh, another group. Uh, too many groups. I'm so low on health, I can't aggro any of them. If we cut across on the left here, are we going to be okay? Are we gonna be okay? Oh, shit. As long as they don't. No, 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 no. Don't chase me. Don't chase me. I can see the portal. The portal is so close. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I think we're okay. Oh, eight health. No, somebody res me. Somebody res me. The portal's right there. Please. Who have we got? Casey and Hayden. Yes, Casey, you are a boss and I love you. Wow. What was that? Wait, no, was it even Casey that did it or was it Hayden? I think it was Hayden. No, it wasn't. It wasn't We Shall Return. It must have been Casey. I can't see a res on him though. Is that a res? Is that death? It's not death pack signet though. That's signet of creation. Whatever, we got through the portal, we're fine. Whew. I did just hear my quest marker go. Are we alright? I need to get moving here. Deli oh no, look. Delivery man, delivery man does whatever a courier can. Transport packages and any size. Brushes on mantle just like flies. Oh yeah, here comes the delivery man. Right, um, did we fail? Uh, protect them while they travel with you to the province. They failed. Yeah, they, they died. They must have died. Did they die? Uh, I think, yeah, they died. Okay, I'm going to cut it until we get through the port. See, that's just so bad. I want to read the dialogue. I want to enjoy myself. No. Yes, all right, I'll see you guys in a second. Hopefully this won't fail so badly. Okay, all right. And also, if you're playing along with me, as you can see here, something you don't want to do. <laughs> this is me trying to cut corners. Don't zone out and go through the portal. Okay, and then just while they, they like they stand around talking for a while, don't just run past them. Actually, do stand around. I, I know you probably already read the dialogue or you just heard me say it, but don't stand around. You have to actually listen to them speak because otherwise, what will happen is uh, you run forward, and where you get closer to the village, what happens is uh, it triggers the spawns on the road behind you. So then, when these guys do finally join your party and start running off on their way, um, they actually get come up behind the, the. They basically run straight into. To the army like from behind and just get owned so don't do that stand around with them take your time and then when the time to run comes that's when you know book it okay good right we've spoken to her and we're running well you can see here i think i think i know why this has happened both elias and casey whitedale they've both been picked off right from the team they, they, they've been caught up by the white mantle I, i'm pretty sure it's because they're using spirits so if you're having trouble and i might have trouble myself actually in the next part uh as we make the final run through knife north Crita province um if you do have trouble with the quest uh, and this is something i'll try um try disabling like the spirits that your heroes are using so that they don't stand around casting the spirits and you can actually get away safely right that would probably be your best bet if you do skip the dialogue like 99% of the, the, the players of the game you'll be fine like look how easy that was you just run straight through to the portal this next bit this last leg this is the harder bit okay so I think that's the only spirit he's got no he's probably got a spirit of life on him somewhere hasn't he let's have a look here yeah there you go there's life 
Fucking Casey's bar is pretty much full of spirits, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't know. Right, anyway, so Livia says, now's not the time to lag behind. Yes, we must move quickly to have any hope of evacuating the Ascon settlement before the White Mantle arrive. Does that mean they're running already? Sweet, okay, good. So now something's going to happen, something quite big. Uh, so do remember what's about to happen. So here we go, we've got a bunch of Ascalonians here. Hey guys, our friends. Captain Greywind himself is here. Um, and I think, uh, if you just stand around, they might not actually spawn. Um, we must move quickly and without distraction. This is me you're talking about. Of course I'm going to get distracted. Livia says, why are we talking? I prefer silence in situations like this. You don't prefer the sound of me screaming as I run? Ridiculous, not enough time. Might just burn the whole place down. Zin says, don't bother me. I still have some calculations to figure out. That might have been the dialogue you would have said if we could speak to him earlier. Hurry now, you have no time to waste. Hurry now, you have no time to waste. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hurry, Nat. Oh, no. Hurry, they are right behind us. Okay, right. All right. So, um, we've got Greywind here, and he says, I've no time for idle chit-chat. This is not idle chit-chat, my friend. This is pretty damn serious. Yes, Captain Langmar had warned us of the coming army when she last passed through, though I thought we'd have more time to prepare. This is it, everyone. We all have to leave right now. Captain, wait. Helton Wills and the Pace family are still on the north side of the village. <gasps> Not the Wills family. Pace family. <laughs> Shit. I swear I'm dyslexic sometimes. The Pace family. You need to get out of here now, says Langmar. I'll take care of the stragglers. Oh, aren't you kind, Langmar? But you're the leader of the Eben Vanguard. Come on, we need you with us. I'm coming too, says Greywind. You won't even know where to look. I can take you right to them and I'll help find fend off any pursuers. Yeah, Greywind does live here now. If any Asclonian knows Cryer, it's pretty much him. Okay, sounds like a plan. Can we get going? I'm kind of scared of the white mantle here. Uh, fine, no time to argue. Thackeray, you're with us. What? <laughs> and then they just take Thackeray too. Okay. You got anything to say about that, Thackeray? Alright, well, fine. Okay, and now we're off. So, uh, be careful, we call back over our shoulders. As they disappear into the horizon. 